may as well take care of that now. Is that it? Tell me, what are you looking forward to most about Unplugged? Well, to show off our softer side, like like scented toilet paper. It wasn't like a hot summer night, it was... It was in November, it was the, uh, November 18th, 1993. It was close to the holidays. Amazing, amazing setting. At the same time, there was this intensity and, and uh, sort of electricity in the room. Good evening. There was a feeling in the air in that room. The room was packed. You know, we had, we had more people than we could fit. The fire marshal almost shut us down. It was definitely a defining moment in their career to kind of shred all the electric. And I think it also showcased they really were like an amazing band and Kurt was an amazing songwriter and that he didn't have to always just scream and belt it out. With Unplugs too, you tend to tape a song a few times. There's always going to be that one or two songs that we do over because the artists aren't used to playing the songs in this arrangement. Nirvana, we went through it, 56 minutes, one reel of tapes, no changes. They played their whole set and just kind of rolled with all the punches. Somebody wasn't on cue, somebody didn't have the right note. It's real, it's, it's about, you know, capturing it. And I thought that was amazing. They didn't try to fix any of the, the mistakes and they just let it stand as like what it was, you know? It's just really spooky tone to it. And this was like his sort of final goodbye. It was, it was that it, and, and it, it just took a whole new meaning that way. And he, he was the one that suggested the stargazer lilies, those white, big white lilies. And uh, that was his idea, and he wanted more candles, like a funeral. And he said, yeah, yeah, like a funeral, that'd be cool. But it certainly took on a completely different meaning after Kurt died.